Good evening, good evening, good evening, and uh, welcome to another NTX live stream. So uh, we've been teaching a lot recently. We've got a lot of pool sessions on, and I'm doing like three uh, days at the lake every week this week, uh, and next week, in fact, all the time, teaching uh, teaching freediving. And one thing that keeps coming up is how do I extend my breath hold? I can't hold my breath long enough. I will need to hold my breath longer. So how do I extend my breath hold? And and I keep saying the same thing. So I thought what I'll do tonight is give some uh, tips, some specific tips about how to extend your breath hold. Now, let's get one thing straight. Sitting on the sofa holding your breath, doing tables, will not extend your breath hold. That's number one. It will at first, um, just the process of holding your breath, you know, a few times um, with some sort of, um, some sort of practicing and process will start by extending your breath hold, but it's very limited. Equally well, just going to the pool or going to a rope and swimming up and down a rope or swimming up and down a pool, trying to push further, hold your breath further, go further, will not extend your breath hold. Um, it will at first, just by the fact that you know, you've never done it before and then you start doing it, so your body's kind of kind of uh, you know kind of acclimatized to, to what you're doing, but it's it's very short lived. Okay. Um, what is king? What will extend your breath holds is efficiency. Okay. Now, um, and we're talking about two different types of efficiency. We're talking about efficiency, or tonight I'm going to talk about efficiency of of practicing and efficiency in the actual breath hold. So, efficiency of the mind. And efficiency of movement and if you can reduce the amount of oxygen the brain is using by being efficient with what you think about you're gonna extend your breath hold instantly super super easy no not easy super simple become more efficient with what your mind is doing and equally well become more efficient with your movement. Again, if you can reduce the amount of oxygen you're burning by thinning or, or pulling a rope or whatever you're doing, uh, you, you're gonna reduce the amount of oxygen and your breath hold will automatically extend. And it's a massive improvement you can get. And where does this come from? How, how can you even start to do this? Well. Uh, we all know uh, that honesty is going to play a part in this, but more fundamental to this is awareness. Awareness is king. Awareness is where everything starts. So, really simple. You can you don't have to leave the surface. You've got a good coach who's going to point stuff out to you. You don't have to leave the surface before you can start on this path of becoming more efficient. For instance, look at these two kicks. So we've got uh, just a guy on the surface kicking, see how the fins are moving versus this guy who's just finning much more efficiently. See how the fins are moving backwards and forwards and here the fins are moving in a cycle. And this is just awareness. Just awareness that somebody pointed out to them you're doing this, you want to do that. That's where the awareness kicks in. Okay. So that's efficient, a simple example of efficient movement. Starts with awareness. But the next thing is purposeful practice. Now, again, sitting on a sofa, holding your breath is not purposeful practice. Swimming up and down a swimming pool is not purposeful practice. What does purposeful practice mean? It has to have an objective and it has to be repeatable. 
So every training exercise you do has to have an objective and you have to be able to repeat it. So for instance, uh, that first guy that I showed the, the, the video of, of him finning, his awareness, he wasn't aware he was doing it. As a coach, I pointed it out to him and gave him some, some tips and, and he could fin. He could fin beautifully. But then he has to go to the pool and practice finning. And I don't mean just swimming up and down, he's got to have objectives about um, his finning technique and he's got to repeat it. You've got to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Remember, practice makes permanent, not practice makes perfect. Because if you practice a bad technique, you're going to have a permanently bad technique. Practice makes permanent. Okay, so this is how you're going to extend your breath hold by becoming more efficient with your movement. How do you become more efficient with your movement? Purposeful practice. So, how do how do I do it? How do I get people to have purposeful practice? Well, at no tanks. We have the 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 amazing uh, situation where we have a lot of pool sessions which are super cheap to get people in the water time in the water and when they're in the water we give we play games with very specific objectives and we play the game once twice two three four times to repeat it so we have very specific games with very specific objectives and we repeat them and we give the opportunity to get into the water a lot okay. um, we've also got an app coming out in the next few weeks there's going to be an NTX app which has um, five different completely different exercises that you can do at home that you can do on the sofa without the pool system without the pool sessions rather but they are very specific and repeatable. Try dry exercises to help you extend your breath hold. And they are not just sitting there trying and hold your breath longer. Okay? That, does, that doesn't work because you've got to get efficiency. But you're saying, well, I'm sitting at home just holding my breath. How do I get more efficient? Well, remember the diagram? Efficiency of mind and efficiency of movement. So sitting at home, you could get the mind efficient. How do you get the mind efficient? You drill the exercises so they become second nature. So they're in the subconscious, so you're not thinking about them. They just happen. How do I do that? Repeated practice. So I started to draw, try and draw a diagram of, of how all this kind of comes in but it's cyclic. You need awareness to start with. Without awareness, and obviously honesty, without awareness, then there's there's no, no game. So, I suggest, <laughs> as a professional freedive coach, I suggest you hire a coach to point out things about your freediving. So you have the awareness. Once you have the awareness, then you can go away and put some purposeful practice in. Okay, so you can develop efficiency. So just changing little things are going to make you more efficient. That's going to extend your breath. So I feel like I'm, I'm saying the same things again, and I am saying the same, but they're from a different angle. So efficiency of training, efficiency of movement, purposeful practice, um, th they are all the same thing, cyclic. Okay. So in the no tank system, we have lots of pool sessions, so that's time in the water with specific exercises, with objectives, specific objectives that we repeat so there you go that's your purposeful practice objectives and rep repetition okay. 
and we've as I say we've got an app coming out in the next couple of weeks where uh, which has exercises lead exercises and they're not just tables they, they they're variable they've got specific objectives and you can repeat them because they're on an app and you can do them and just do them and do them and do them that is how you're going to extend your breath hold so I was kind of thinking I might usually the live streams are a half an hour long but there isn't that much to it it's time in the water it's just time in the water starts with awareness purposeful practice to try and become more efficient but let me tell you this extending your breath hold is not a new wetsuit it is not a new monofin it is not new fluid goggles these do not extend your breath hold they extend the dive but they don't make you a better free diver we've talked about this I've talked about this many times before about ego and numbers and wanting to go further wanting to go deeper buying new kit to, to help you go deeper it's that's not making you a better diver it's just making you know, your numbers bigger that's not a better diver because anybody who gets a new pair of fins that are the right fins for them expensive fins they're gonna their dives gonna extend it's not you getting better it's just buying kit yeah. it is simple to get better time in the water to get a lot better purposeful practice while in the water that's it that's the secret to free diving so um, I don't know if you can hear that strange noise next door um, so pretty much that's it uh, I've got a few people watching uh, if you want to ask a question you're welcome to ask a question and and I'll answer it now or if you ask a question and I see it I'll answer it uh, next week or in the comments section um, yeah I think that's pretty much it that's it it starts with awareness so you pay a coach to help you become aware of what you're doing wrong employ a coach the coach's job is to help you become aware of what you need to work on but a coach doesn't ring you up and say why aren't you training a coach doesn't whip you go faster go faster a coach coaches you tells you what you should be working on gives you some ideas to work on At the end of the day it's down to you getting in the water more and training sorry guys that's the secret all right so super quick one tonight um, remember we've got loads of uh, trips kind of happening uh, well no definitely happening free fest for instance is happening um, in July we've got some trips later in the year in September um, and October so uh, I'm just looking at the calendar thinking with <laughs> what what dates have I missed drop us a line if you've got any questions say we're in the lake a lot this week uh, and the next next few weeks rather so if you want to come down and have a session please uh, message us and I will speak to you next week so uh, good night ciao ciao